we are going on a mini vacay. It's a staycation, because Allie's really bad at planning, and she was kind of getting sad that she hadn't planned anything for the summer, even though it's a short summer because of COVID and school got pushed back and everything. So the man and I are going on a staycation downtown in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, so <laughs> I actually rented a hotel room because I want to have that vacation feel, and two, I just, I really want to like go park and just walk around downtown, you know, have some fun, have some food, have some drinks, do some new experiences. I don't go downtown often and I don't know, just kind of see what the city offers, things I haven't done before, new experiences. There have been all these like new places that have opened up, like restaurants I want to try and I spent hours, literally hours yesterday trying to research where we could go, we're gonna stay like in the middle of downtown on Main Street. So I was looking up all these fancy restaurants that I've heard about for the past couple years. I am keto, so I was looking at their menus and a lot of them are like fancy Southern, I don't know. A lot of them are like deep fried, come with grits and potatoes and I'm not hating, I just, I can't eat that. <laughs> and I don't wanna be that person asking for substitutions at the fancy restaurant where, you know, like the chefs actually come up with these plates. So we found a couple places. One of them I've actually been to before, but we got activities and things to do. So I'm really excited, a couple days. But I gotta hurry because we are running late. We have a dinner reservation at seven. We gotta go check into the hotel and it's 5.45. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, folks. So here's our hotel. I chose this one because there's a rooftop lounge. It's the Sheraton downtown on Main Street. I was gonna choose the Marriott over there because they had a pool, but it's not an outdoor pool. So I said, nah. So we got the one with the rooftop bar over here. It's pretty and it's old and it's right in the middle of everything. So we don't have to walk too far. So we'll see how it goes. We have some really old wooden floors. You can kind of hear them. Actually a pretty small room, but we did get one with a city view. So let's see, a little wardrobe over there with all of our luggage. And there's no fridge. So we actually brought our own cooler cause we're cool. All right, let's take a look at this view. <laughs> Oh, I get to look at the top of a building. Ooh. But the bathroom's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty much a fan of this nice door. Holy cow, the man told me there's a TV in the bathroom. <laughs> Very nice. I do not enjoy the fact that the full length mirror is behind the side table. Not a fan. Okay, folks, we are walking down Gervais Street, one of the main streets in downtown Columbia, um, to one of my favorite restaurants. It's this tapas bar called Gervais and Vine. Last time we went here was back in February for Valentine's and I know I can eat food there because I have a special diet so we are going there but the weather's lovely. It was supposed to rain I thought all weekend but it's not raining. It's actually quite sunny so yeah I'm excited for some food. I have not eaten all day. I've been intermittent fasting so I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some tapas if you know what I mean and some drinks. Okay, so we are at Gervais and Vine. We got seated, a little hot from walking. We've been here once together and what I, we really loved were these eggplant fries. We didn't eat the honey yogurt, but this from Esco is super good. So we're each gonna get an order of the eggplant fries. I love these Spanish meatballs. I don't care if there's some breadcrumbs. I can't taste them, so I'm on vacation. It's my staycation. I'll do what I want. And we really love the salmon. And we'll kind of start with those, see how we feel. Again, this is a tapas bar. We're gonna order some tapas. Have a good night. Before we drink, we got a clink. Cheers, handsome. I did, I just made it up off the top of my head. So <laughs> last time we came here too, we had the same thing happen. We order lots of food and they're like, are you sure? That's what you want? I'm like, yes, you don't understand. That's how I want my food. I want it all. I'm gonna order myself three plates. We might order I mean, more. Everyone else has he got his own three plates. I know you're supposed to share, but we like what we like. <laughs> we do what we want. <laughs> so, cheers, y'all. Staycation 2021. So, the lighting's kind of bad, but they are like crusted in Parmesan. I think that they're air fried. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to make these. If you've made eggplant fries, please let me know. This is the honey thing I'm gonna avoid. This is the other thing. What, would it, what, what was it called? The Romesco, I guess. Anyway, super good this one. We loved that one last time. So we're gonna mange on some aubergine. All right, yummy, delicious Spanish meatballs. I'm so excited. Look at all that cheese. And then over here we have our delicious salmon. Like I said, I don't know what that is. I tasted it, didn't really taste like much. And then my eggplant fries, mm, yummy. So even though we kind of order our own things and that's not what tapas are really all about, 
I still really love this place because the food is so good. So if you're ever in Columbia, South Carolina, you should definitely go to Gervais and Vine. So delicious. All right, so we are going to the main course. They have games to play, so I reserved um, a bay for us to play some games, and we're gonna have some fun. We'll see what happens. Okay, folks, so um, today we are going to the Soda City Market. This market is amazing. They've really spruced it up. Um, it's, it's like livened up the downtown area, I think. So we're gonna look around at the market. The man's hungry. I might eat a little bit of lunch. Um, and then we're gonna hit the Museum of Modern Art, also on Main Street. And then at four o'clock, we're going back to Main Course for this like place called Immersion. It's like all this art, you get to take selfies and videos inside, and so I reserve that as well. And then we have dinner reservations at 6.30, I believe. So they actually call this the Soda City Market because it's in Columbia, and Columbia gets shortened to cola, hence Soda City. And I think that that actually happened when texting came out, because when I was in college with friends that came from different places, I would be like, hey, when are you coming back to cola? And this was back when you had to like press nine, ten times to get an S. So, <laughs> I think that's how it got shortened. That's just my theory. It was all texting fault. Columbia, cola, soda city. get a shawarma bowl so I got a beef shawarma and the lady was like yeah definitely you don't have to have the wrap I'm gonna make you whatever you want <laughs> super nice so I'm having a shawarma here at Soda City Market okay, so here's my shawarma I don't know what these sauces are but I'm excited to try them out we got some tomato I think she said some parsley and then there's some beef and pickles mm -hmm. the lady was super nice she's like it's hot on the bottom let me give you some napkins so you can hold it <laughs> Try not to be too messy because I'm wearing a white shirt. And that sauce is so good. It's like a garlic aioli or something. Mm. Super good. Fresh beef. I saw them cook it right there on the street. Street food. Here we go. Super good. Can't go wrong with like something like this. So good. Mm -hmm. So the market closes at one. We got like 10 minutes before everybody's gonna start packing up. It has thinned out a bit. I'm gonna finish my food. Our plan is to go to the museum after this. All right, so we are here at the Columbia Museum of Art, and we're gonna go take a look at this ironic curtain exhibit that they have going on. Um, I kind of really like studying a little bit about Russia. I'm not like, I'm not a researcher or anything. I just get really deep into some Wikipedia articles, if you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna go check this out as the market closes and go look at some art, I suppose.
Okay, folks, we are back on Main Street outside walking to Immersion. Immersion is a place where they have art and rooms and you go and you like take selfies and record things, I suppose. I don't know. It was like 10 bucks a person for an hour. It's at the main course, so we're going back there. And it's just a couple blocks from the hotel, so not too bad, although it is getting warm. It's kind of hot, famously hot. All right, so here is Immersion and it says the act of immersing or the state of being immersed so here's the first room that we have pretty cool wall i'm gonna take some pics i'm excited the immersion place taking pictures and stuff and we were kind of hot and we were going to go up to the rooftop bar at the hotel but they're closed for maintenance so we are going into the vault because apparently this used to be a bank so we're going to the vault bar so we're going to chill here for about an hour until we go to dinner because our dinner reservation is for 6 30 at the hampton street vineyard okay so right down main street and then right down hampton street and we have the hampton street vineyard and I'm so excited. I looked at their menu online and I think I can eat some keto friendly things. Woo! All right, so for our menu, we have our starters. I'm thinking of the moule frites or the foie gras. And for the mains, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the steak au foie. All right, so the man got a mushroom or something tart. This butter is heaven. It's like super salty and I love it. And I'm literally eating it with my knife. And this is the foie gras. Oh, yummy. I'm gonna try and avoid the orange. I might try a little bit. You know, it's not quite keto because it's gonna be super sweet. But it's topped with pecans. Literally, the butter is so good. It's okay because I'm keto and I can eat butter if I want to. If I want. <laughs> Would not recommend just eating butter with a knife for daily consumption. Okay, let's we'll see the foie gras. Here we go. I would recommend. Very fatty, of course, it means fatty liver. And the orange actually does help out, so I probably will eat a little bit of the orange sauce. Don't tell, I'm on vacation, all right? Staycation, hey. All right, so I know the lighting's bad, but I have my steak au poivre with a side of uh, asparagus with the bourbon. <laughs> cause I'm extra. I don't like my big old vegetable sides cause I'm crazy. And the man got a pork pepinette. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks delicious with ginger on top. So we're taste testing the asparagus. Here we go. Yummy. There's like this onion sauce. I don't know. It's white. I'm guessing there's cream and onions. I don't know. Slightly sweet from the caramelization of the onions. But now I'm going to try my steak. Alright, here we go. The steak is super good. Oh my gosh. Very peppery. Steak au poivre. Awesome. I would definitely recommend this place if you are keto. Um, I got a double asparagus because I'm crazy. I want to make sure that I have a full stomach for my dinner. All right, so how is your pork happen yet? It's like fried barbecue. It's fried barbecue. And I'm this, jealous. And this is jam. It's jam. And it tastes good with it. It's, oh. It I'm actually good. tastes good. It tastes good. Woo. 
the steak au poivre at the Hamden Street Vineyard was so good. It was so peppery, which is in the name. The asparagus, the like onion sauce that it came with was amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't think there was any flour in it. I don't know, but I'm just, you know, going off what I could taste. And the asparagus, awesome. The foie gras, awesome. Did you like your food, the yes. man? Yes. Yes. It went into my stomach happily. So, I don't know what else we can tell you. It was amazing. And I got the sparkling wine and it was delicious. What you want to do, Babu? Murder. Murder? You want to do murder? He's just joking. But it is a lovely night on Main Street. All right, so we're in front of the stay house on Main Street. We have the wig. It's like a Columbia institution. I've been here like twice in my whole life. But we going down into the basement of the wig. <laughs> All right, so we are at the wig. It's pretty crowded for a Saturday. Very nice. Okay, folks, we have checked out of the hotel. Um, we had a lovely little staycation. I'm really happy that we did that. But usually after vacation, I go to <laughs> Waffle House. But the man was like, I don't know if I really want some super greasy breakfast food. So we're going to go get some Mexican at the Brothers and Beer Mexican restaurant. One of my favorite Mexican appetizers that are keto friendly is guacamole and this was like freshly made and I love this place because they actually have a salsa bar and I'm actually a big fan of this jalapeno salsa so I dip my guacamole in like the salsas and it's so good but we really like this place it's a newer place in our area they just opened this one up like a year ago but it's super fun super festive so I got the carnitas with salsa de mocajete. No rice and beans, but extra salad on the side. So let me show you what this looks like. It looks really good, I'm excited. All right, here we go, looking so good. My carnitas and my salad. I'm probably gonna drizzle some of these salsas over here all over, finish up some guacamole. So I am gonna get to eat. All right, so here we go. Carnitas con salsa de mocajete. Mm. The meat is super tender, super delicious, and I really love the sauce. It's got something, you know, some spices in it that make it just kind of unique. But this is what I get here, and it's one of my faves. Well, we made it back home. <laughs> we didn't have far to go. Um, it was just a really nice weekend, and I'm really glad that we took the time just to get away and, like, have something to look forward to. And even though we didn't go far, it was so nice just to, like, be in vacation mode for a little bit. So I would definitely recommend having a staycation wherever you live. Go to a part of your town that you don't often go to. You know, if you've been hearing about these restaurants or activities or places to go and do things in your area, but you just haven't had the time, carve out that time if you're able, because I think it's worth it. I don't know. And now I feel like I'm more connected with the city, right? <laughs> I want to go back next weekend, maybe just for like a random dinner or go try and find something to do, maybe with a group of friends. I would definitely recommend having a little staycation if you're able to. Well, folks, that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. My name's Ellie. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.